Chara again and today I'm not filming my video outside because today's video it's something different it's on makeup yeah so today's makeup I'll be showing you my everyday makeup routine I wouldn't say it is a tutorial but I just thought that I would share with you guys with how I do my makeup and this one was requested by my girlfriends in my class so this video is for you so if you are watching my video comment a hi so that I know you are watching it and let me explain a few things first before I go into how I do my everyday makeup so firstly my skin is a non-sensitive type so I try to use as little makeup as possible because I don't want to clog up my pores as everyone says that foundation clogs up your pores so I I don't use foundation and I'm not very good in doing makeup I can't even draw my eyebrows if you have the same skin type as me maybe you can try out the ways that I do my makeup and I try to keep my makeup as natural as possible because natural is better Nah, I'm just kidding, but girls, you should embrace your own natural beauty and just go out with as little makeup as possible. I used to apply eyeliner on my eyes, duh, but I stopped using it because I think that's too much for my face. And since I naturally have double eyelids and I have pretty big eyes, I think that eyeliner don't really suit me. And... If you're just starting out using makeup, it's okay if your makeup looks weird and too looks overwhelming on you at first because it's always the case. But as you use makeup more often, you realize that uh, some suit, some kind of makeup suits you and some don't. So then that's when you eliminate those that you think doesn't suit you. Like for my case, I stopped using my eyeliner. And Practice makes perfect when you're using when you're using makeup. And that's me blabbering on and on and I think we should start with the video. See you in a bit. So I've just bathed and now my face is all clean and smooth and I'm ready to show you my makeup routine. Firstly, I'll show you the product that I use to wash my face, which is this product here called Baking Powder Clear Moist. Foam. It's gentle on the skin and and if you're non-sensitive skin like me, then I think maybe you can try out this product. So the next step after washing our face is using a toner. This is the product that I use. It's from Etude House and I'll use a cotton pad, a cotton wool to pour this on. After that, I'll use the moisturizer, which is this product here. I normally just pour this amount because if it's too much, it will feel very oily on my skin. And since I have some pimples on my forehead and yeah, my face, so I use this kit for my pimples and there's one for day and one for night. So since it is day, I'll be using the day one, which is this one in the middle. I'm gonna just take a cotton bud and shake this bottle so that it's evenly mixed. And just dab it in. A little bit is enough. And just spread it all over my pimples. That is basically what I do before I apply any makeup on. So the first thing that I use for my makeup is a concealer. Again, this is from Etude House. It's just a concealer stick. And I just... Use this all over my under eye because I have dark circles. Under my 
Actually, I don't really like this concealer because after a few hours later, the concealer will start flaking out and it will, it will make your face look quite dried up. So, I wouldn't really recommend this or any Etude House makeup products because I think their skincare is better than their makeup products. But since it doesn't harm my skin, I might as well just finish using this. But the next time, I'll definitely not buy this anymore. So on to my next product. I use my powder, which is from Sephora. It's the, I use the compact powder. And take a brush. And the powder. Brush it all over your face. So the next product I'll be using is this Blush Me Twice Dua Versatile, I think call this a palette. Yeah, it's for, there is a blusher and a bronzer, so it's win one. So first I'll use the bronzer and contour my face just a slight bit. I'll start with this part of my face. The reason I start here is because if it's darker here, it doesn't matter because you can just blend it upwards or downwards but if you put the other side, it will look very uneven in the end. And then I'll use a bit more for my jawline. And now for the blusher. Using the same brush, I'll just put on the blusher. So now that I'm done with my bronzer and my blusher, I'll be doing makeup for my eyes. I use the Maybelline Falsies because it's the best mascara on the earth. Applying for some time, my eyes becomes like that. Can you see the difference? But it's okay if you can't. I spend the most time doing my eyes for my everyday makeup because I don't want my mascara to look it's all clumped up, and especially on the lower eye line, it's quite hard to do. So I would, on average, spend 10 to 15 minutes just to do mascara on both of my eyes. Well, the rest of my makeup, it's pretty fast. That's actually all for my makeup routine. If I'm feeling glam, I need something extra to put on on that day, I'll put on a red lipstick. I should not apply it today because I feel lazy. And yeah, that's all for my makeup routine. And as you can tell, I do very little makeup. Now, I know that you can't really see clearly what I'm actually doing my makeup. Once I get a new camera, I would definitely make this video again so that you have a better view of what I do with my makeup. And if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you enjoy my videos. I'm so happy that I've got comments on my videos. Yeah, it really makes my day seeing these comments. And so... If you want to say something, please do comment because I'll read it and yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say for this video. So, see you on next Saturday. Bye! When I met you in the summer